Okay, what are we doing for our first 10 minutes? Um, reading. Read this these two. Two books. And our book and from yesterday. Yeah. Yep. Okay. It. At the beach, I found a crab. <laughs> Sit up, please. And put it in my bucket. Crabs have claws and walk sideways. At the beach, I found a shell and put it in my bucket. Shells come in many shapes and sizes. At the beach, I at the beach, I found a starfish and put it in my bucket. Starfish have five arms and their mouth is on the bottom. At the beach, I found a seahorse and put it in my bucket. Seahorse, seahorse, horses, seahorse men. I mean, males, males cover for their youngs. At the end of the day, I put everything back. Watch me read this page. I'm going to make sure that it looks right and makes sense. Seahorse males care for their young. You try it. Seahorse males care for for their young. That looked right and that made sense to me. All right, let's try Rosie is cold. Why is this right here? I need you to read quickly. Rosie went Outside, I, I'm cold, she said. Here is a sweater, said Bella. Here is a sweater for you. Rosie put on the sweater and went outside. I'm cold, said, she said. Here is a hat, said Bella. Here is a hat for you. Rosie put on the hat and went outside. I'm cold, said she said. Try this page without your finger. See how fast you can read it. Here are some boots, um, said Bella. Here are some boots for you. Good. Rosie put on the boots and went outside. I'm cold, said she said. Take off the sweater said Bella. Take off the hat and take off the boots. Rosie took off the sweater. She took off the hat and she took off the boots. Now you have a fur coat, said Bella.
Rosie and Bella went outside. Now I'm not, not cold, said Rosie. Rosie and Bella are good friends, aren't they? I like how you're working Your on reading that wet. quickly. My hands are a little wet. Yeah. Well, I just got done washing my hands. All right, you remember yesterday we read yes. our house has a mouse. Our house had a mouse. She's reading a book about a mouse. <laughs> it does say the mouse right on it. There. Sit up like a first grader. The mouse is right there from the book. Okay, I'm ready to listen now. Our house had a mouse. Our house had a mouse. A little brown mouse. Who? Who ran all through the house. The mouse ran through the living room. Eek! Eek! Crit cried my dad. He jumped on the couch. We must get rid of that mouse. The mouse ran through the bathroom. Eek! Cried my sister, said, and jumped, and she jumped on the toilet. We must get rid of the mouse. The mouse ran through the kitchen. Eek! cried my mom, and she jumped on the chair. We must get rid of that mouse. The mouse ran through the hallway. I opened the door. Out. Our house doesn't have a mouse. Eh. Mm, yeah. Mm, Any more? I'm done. Let me set the timer. Tell me about the mouse in their house. Um. The mouse ran through the bathroom, the living room, and the, what's it called, the kitchen, and they all said, eek, eek, eek. They sure did. But the badger sister let the mouse out. The, the other sister had the plan at the end to let that mouse go. I want to look at this page, and I want to check if one of these words look right. In this word, you said hallway. Hall. Oh. Try that again. Let's see if that looks the right and makes sense. Mouse ran through the hall. And Audrey, while you were reading, I want to tell you that I really liked whenever you tried to read these parts with Is expression. On? Like on this part, for example. Listen to me. Listen to me. You said, eee, just like they would say it. And when you came here, let's think about how they would say that. We must get rid of that mouse. You try it. We must get rid of that mouse. I love it whenever you read like that with expression.
Oh, the okay. sink's overflowing. Yeah. All right, we beat our timer on that one. Now our next 10 minutes is, listen, listen to me, working at the board. Yeah. And then what? Writing sent your sentence. And? And then cutting it Kay. out. So we're keeping ourselves on track. Start yeah. the timer. Woo. Quickly sort slides and circles. Go. Slide, slide. Just saw in our one. story. I know it's long. Bring your body over here. Uh, uh, brown. I like that you checked that with your finger to see if the letters matched. Brown. Now let's think about parts that we know because that can help us. Brown. This is how we break it. You know how to do this. Brown. Brown. Let me see you break it. Brown. Knowing parts of words is really going to help us. Show me the word brown. Mm -hmm. And what parts did you know? Own. Own. And bird. Mm -hmm. That helps us when we know parts of words. All right, Audrey, when we were walking down the hallway, you were telling me about the stuffed animal you brought, right? For stuffed animal day. Right. Okay. My what are we going to say about that? Unicorn is fluffy. My unicorn is fluffy. Yeah, that's what I want to write. My unicorn is fluffy. Let's say one more thing about your unicorn. And My unicorn is fluffy and nice. Oh. I want you to pick your color in three, two. One. Blue today. There we go. You know how to write my, so you can do that speedy quick. And white. My unicorn. Ooh, this is a tricky one. <gasps> good. We are hearing you U first. N. Mmm. Very good. I hear N. Excellent. Head up. You don't need to do that. Okay. We're going to put each letter in a box, okay? Put you because that's what you heard first. And then you and heard un okay. Now watch this. Unicorn. Oh, hmm. two ends. What letters would we expect un to see? Uh, un I. It's an I. I We're going to bring it up here. Unic or O R N O R and then what did you hear at the very end? N. Okay. Let me see what you did. Okay. Or Unicorn. Does that look right? It does. You can bring that to your story. Is it A or uh, O? You told me it's O R. Oh, I wrote an A on that side. O R N. Period. Oh no, forgot. No We're not ready for a period. Yet. You told me my unicorn is. Okay, let's, let's stop and slow down. Because I bet if you say this word slowly, you're going to hear the sounds. Oh, uh, See, are you hearing it better when you slow down? Uh, Fla. It's going to be two e Fs. Yeah. <laughs> slow down and listen to me. Fla. It sounds like it would be an E. It's an A. 
I think. But it's a Y at the end. Dang, 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 boys! Read it back. My unicorn is fluffy and nice. You did. You did tell me that. I know how to spell nice. Okay. Give me a try right there. What do you hear? Mm, I see E. Excellent. Now you can bring it to your story. I like that you're getting words on your own. I'm going to practice my, um, my D's. Okay. We this go. This is a D right here. You did a good D going that way. Around, up, and down. Show me some good D's. Around, up, and down. 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 Let me see the D's. Wait, wait. Okay, you can put your marker away. I wrote some wrong, like A's. Mark, you know is fluffy and nice. Okay, let's think about That's some of these words. Hmm. Fluffy. Yeah, if we look at nice. I-C-E. You know the part ice? Yeah. Okay, excellent. Okay, that's all I want to cut today. Well, you know what? I also heard you think about fluffy. What's a part that you know in... Um, What part? This part. And what does that part of the word say? F. What does this part of the word say? Full. Yes. Full. Full. Huffy. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can fix it. We're doing a lot better on our time, yep. Okay, but I want you to read that back and to see if that looks right and makes My sense. My unicorn is nice, is fluffy, and nice. Okay. All right, so for our last ten minutes, read our new book. We have our brand new book. I'm going to get it. Hold on. All right, now I'm going to tell you about this one. It's a pretty cute book. I was checking it out after school yesterday, and I think you're going to enjoy this. Listen to this. It's called Winter Sleeps. Baby Bear knows that winter is coming. He wants to know where the other animals rest when the snow is deep. Let's look to find out what Baby Bear learns about the other animals. A leaf. Yeah. He's, he's noticing that leaf falling down. That's going to give us a clue. Look at this. What are the leaves doing? What did you falling. say? Falling. That means the animal lives up there. Who does he talk to first? A turtle. A turtle. And what do you notice about where the turtle is? And the water sleeping. Oh, okay. Um, talks to a mouse. I mean, a squirrel. Mm -hmm. And a squirrel sleeps and um, 
a little thing. Okay, that's true. Let's see what else he finds out. That a raccoon sleeps in a tree stump. Oh, interesting. A bat sleeps in a cave. A skunk sleeps in another cave. Okay. Now I'm going to hold this page because, Audrey, now it's Baby Bear's turn to sleep. He knows where his other friends are going to sleep, but he doesn't know where he's going to sleep when the snow is deep. And so he asks his mom. His mom knows, but you know what? I'm going to keep that a surprise for the end. No. <laughs> No. You're going to find out whenever you no. read. You're going to get there whenever you no, read at the I'm end. I look at it. I want it to be a surprise. Because no. we're going to think about that. All right. I want to see it. Winter sleeps. You're going to get there. Look. Look, baby bear. That's the first sleep that found did not jump down. I like that you noticed that. Baby Bear is noticing that. The leaves are falling. Winter must be coming. Hey. Hey. No one says hit. Is that a compound word? No. Or the picture can help you here. Words. What is Baby Bear? What is Who is Baby Bear seeing? Turtle? And what's something that we see, that we say whenever we see friends? Hi. Well, what do you think? Does that look like hi? Hi. And that would make sense, wouldn't it? Okay, sit up. You got it. Hi. Mer, mer. Hi, mer. Mister? Hi, Mr. Turtle. Hi, Mr. Turtle. Yeah, that's what Baby Bear would say. Where do you sleep? When the... Snow is deep. Oh, he sleeps in the water where it's warm. That's true. Let's see what the story the, tells us. At the egg pond. And pond. And the best best the b a best. When the turtles turtle went a rest. A pond is best when a turtle needs a rest. Now who does he talk to? Hi, Mount. Hi, Mr. Skunk. I wouldn't see that. My pants are wet still from the mouse bed. I need you to think about what you're doing now. Hi, Mr. Skunk. Meet Squirrel. 
Where do you sleep when the snow is deep? Good. What's his answer? I went in. Does that look right? Try that again. I nest nest a nest is best when a squirrel needs a rest. A uh, rest. Hi, Mr. Raccoon. Where do you sleep when the snow is deep? Uh, a tree is best when a raccoon needs a rest. Nice. I just want to shine. On every page it says rest. Are you noticing that part or repeating? This mm -hmm. word. Hi, Mr. Bat. Where do you sleep? Where do you sleep? When the snow is deep, I a K is best when a bat needs its rest. I hi, Mr. Skunk. Where do you sleep when the snow is deep? I try that again. A fox home is best. He's in a fox's house. <gasps> I think you said home here. Let's let's check that and see if we're right. <gasps> Oh. Oh. oh, hole. A fox hole. Hmm. Is best when a skunk needs its rest. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now we're getting close to the part you wanted to see. Let's read and see what Mama uh, Bear says. Hi, Mother Bear. Where do we sleep when the deep snow is deep. This is a pretty big word. Let's break it down here. Er, this eh, part is re, 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 that's okay. Let's keep going. Re, um, now I know you know this part. Er, you remember. just said it. Remember. Remember. There you go. Remember. The best and uh, we're gonna try this again, and it's gonna make sense to you. Remember the best. Here, Mama Best. Bear. Mama Bear is asking him to remember one of the animals that he talked to at the very, well, not at the very beginning, but close to the beginning. Mama Bear wants Bat. him to remember this. Okay, so let's Bat. see what. Mm -hmm. Try that again. Bat and. Start at remember and try it again. Remember a bat and. Whoa. Air where it gets in when the sk no what yeah what it air 
winter comes and when it snows. Now listen to me and you can read it. Remember the bat and where it goes when winter comes and when it snows? Yeah. Okay, let me hear you say it and then we're going to see. I'm excited. Re Remember Re the bat and when where where it goes when the cold when winter comes and when it, it snows when it snows I think you're so excited to to see it's okay a now let's, that is where the bat stayed yeah. okay let's check it oh you were right. A what does Mama K Bear tell him? Is best when a bear needs its rest. No, oh, the cave, just like the bat. Yeah. That was our surprise ending, That's wasn't it? I knew it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There's one word I want to peek at here. Um, listen to this. The leaves are falling. Winter must be coming. Okay, I heard you say coming, and you know that this part is ing. Calling. Oh. Now read that again. See if it looks right. When. Where. What. Eh. <laughs> Winter must be calling. The leaves are falling. Winter must be calling. And I want to look at this word because here's another. Um, oh, yeah. I heard you say mother bear. We're going to check that and see. Could that be mother? No, I said mother bear. You did say that. mother bear, but this doesn't look like mother. Let's look. Mom. Mom. Wait, it's mom. M O M. Is how it's mom. That's not M O M, is it? No. No. Let's look. It's M A M. This is this is what baby bear calls her. Mom. Ma. Ma. Mama. Ma. Have you ever heard people say mama? Yeah. Yeah. He says, "Hi, mama bear. Where do we sleep when the snow is deep?" And well, then he's that, and then he go to the cave. He <laughs> finds out it's the cave. Now, Audrey, what what were some of the places some of the other animals slept? Um, a bat slept in the Sit up. cave, and a turtle slept in the cold water, and uh, the um. I remember the squirrel. Squirrels sleeps in the oh the little the little thing. I mm -hmm. forgot what the name is. And the skunk slept in the foxhole. Yeah. All right, Miss Audrey. My two books. Pick two to read it's tonight. Bad.